These are the new luxury items that I am obsessed with. Okay, these are the pieces that are on the preliminary wish list. They're like, oh, I've been seeing you. I think I like you. Some of them I may have questions about and I'm like, we need to decide if this is gonna make sense. Two of which I already caved on. Uh, you'll see, I mean, I just, you know me, sometimes the heart wants what it wants and you just have to act on that. I'm always trawling through the internet, so I'm always seeing things and this is a good way of me to share some of these things with you. Links to these items will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. Kicking it off with a pair of shoes. These are a collaboration between Sergio Rossi, who, I'm not gonna lie, like has been off my radar for a long time, but these are in collaboration with Evangeline Smirniotaki, also known as Style Heroine. I apologize if that was terrible. I saw them and I was like, oh my gosh, my word for this spring summer, and to be honest with you, the foreseeable spring, spring summers, is juicy, juicy with a capital J, right? I mean, come on, that's, that's why I've done this. And so I saw these shoes and I felt the same. Now, um, a similar pair of shoes that I've been looking at for like, not gonna lie, about a year, are the Amina Mwadi Lupita Mules in the PVC. Again, they look juicy, okay? They look like a gummy bear, I want to eat them, I want to bite into the wedge of that shoe. But I know that PVC on the front is gonna dig into the, to the toes. It's going to be torture, it's going to be terrible, and um, I know it's not gonna end well. I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, perfect in between. Glorious green, satin on the front, juicy on the back, what more do you want, right? So I caved. <laughs> okay, so I got these from Luisa Villaroma who is kindly sponsoring this part of the video. Louise V. Roma is currently doing a 25% off new season selects. Not the stuff that hasn't been sold for months, new season stuff. And there's some very good stuff in there. One of which are these heels. Now we know that Louise V. Roma always tends to do a very good flash sale. Um, these also arrived in three days. I was very I was very happy with that dispatch and shipping time turnaround. I will have all of the details about the promotion below when it ends and all of that so you can have a look. I will also pick some of my favourites from the promotion in case you need help. I don't think you will need, but just in case. I ended up getting these shoes, which are in the promotion, and also another piece in this video. Thank you so much, Luz V. Roma, for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, I need to take all of the da, 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 Louisa V. Roma tags off, but I have tried them on, so I can vouch for sizing and all of that business. Just look at those. Just look at them. I also love this like little curve, all in this beautiful satin, and then you've got that juicy, delicious heel. Oh, scrumptious. Um, these are also shockingly comfortable. And by shockingly comfortable, I mean I put my feet in them, my jaw dropped, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm very, very excited also because Nia and I just booked to go to the Bahamas for his birthday, and neither of us, neither of us been to the Caribbean, neither of us been to the Bahamas. I'm so excited, and I feel, I feel like she's very Bahamas appropriate. Oh my gosh, clip clopping to dinner with a beautiful fresh fish on the plate in front of you and just the sounds of the ocean waves <clears throat> lapping onto the shore. Oh my, I am so ex I'm so excited. True to size, by the way. Also, I'm very glad that there was something inside of me that said those mean Mwadis aren't for you. You are what I've been looking for. The ombre stuff. I sort of saw this on the streets of New York and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a great bag. It reminds me of a bag that my mum has. This is, uh, it's a vintage bag. This is the vintage Chanel Cabon bag, I think think it's called. It's a really great, okay, so from what I've seen, they've done it in sort of a top handle version, and they also did a sort of longer, longer handles so that you can put on the shoulder. I've seen it black on black, I've seen black with white cc's, beige with black cc's, pink with black cc, I think that's it. It's, it's like a very sort of decent sized medium bag, like you can fit a lot of stuff in there. The reason why I'm like, mm, I love it, and I think that you can really get a good deal on this actually from ferreting around, is my mum has the reporter bag, which is this bag, but sort of like amped up. It's got like five sodding pockets on it. And so I'm going to go home, find it, and bring it back with me. Um, I have had approval from the Queen herself to say that she is fine with that, and that I'm allowed to take the beige. She has a beige and a pink, I'm only allowed to take the beige. <laughs> So that way I can at least like test run it 
Um, I might like that, in which case I will just continue to carry my mum's. If I'm like, I like this, but it's a bit too bulky, maybe then I'll buy this one. I just love the vibes. I'm here for the vibes. I saw a woman carrying a beige one with black a couple of days ago and I was like, oh my gosh, so chic, so fabulous. And you know, and you know, I've started my like, you know, foray into vintage, so I'm excited about it and I think that's a great one. Okay, the next one is sort of like, there's one particular item, but this brand in general has a bit of a chokehold on me. This is De Femme. Oh my gosh. Everything's got like some level of crystallization or embellishment. And you know me, I'm a magpie. I see it and I like it. If it's got crystals and they're beading, yes, let's talk about it. Sequins, hello, right? And this brand is all of that. Now, in particular, there are a pair of jeans and you know, I'm I'm still early on my non skinny leg jeans journey. I actually think I'm going to do a video which is like me gallivanting New York trying on a whole different, like loads of different jeans. I saw this one pair. They look to be sort of very like straight semi baggy and then down the sides is just a smattering of all sorts of beading and sequins and all of that. And I just love it. I'm like, oh my, you just literally need a white tee from anywhere and these jeans and 10 out of 10. They are worn low rise, but they do have a long rise gusset. So I feel like I could high rise those if I, if I, I think, I think I could, I've got faith. Love them, love the brand. Also, Louis V Aroma has a very big range of them, which is great because they don't really, they're not like around much. Alexandra Vauthier, who, uh, this is on me. This is a me problem and I hold my hands up. You know me, I am one to, I will admit when I'm wrong, I will admit if I've changed my mind. And I will say up until, I was trolling through websites and whatnot, I saw these pieces, I was like, oh my gosh, I just used to think of Alexandre Vauthier as that one style of dress. You know the one, I have one, it's fantastic, it's great, very comfy, would recommend, right? I saw this short sleeved, essentially like hourglassy type blazer jacket. <gasps> I fell in love. The cut, look at just how exquisite, that just goes, mm, mm. I love the fact that it's short sleeved. I think in the summer, you could, yeah, just wear that as like, you know, light jacket, it's short sleeve, whatever. In the winter, layer a black turtleneck underneath, right? Maybe in autumn, autumn, let's not winter it. But you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, the woman that wears this is a boss. The woman that wears this is a force to be reckoned with. Oh my gosh, don't even go against her in a divorce. Don't even, don't, don't even blink in her direction. Because the more you blink, the more she's like, and I will invoice you for being a waste of my time. Obsessed, love it. Don't love the price. I have faith this is going to go into the sale. Alexandra Vauthier does tend to go a lot into the sale. Um, so I'm hoping this gets a nice, oh, a good six. 70% off this would be fantastic. I will be watching it like a hawk. However, another Alexandre Rothier thing that I saw <clears throat> in the Louise Vieroma promotion. Look at this shirt. This shirt is not far off the woman that wears that jacket. Okay, this shirt is also powerful, strong. Doesn't take no for an answer. Once again, I thought this is a great one to have in the arsenal, especially I'm really enjoying at the moment shirts like a button-up shirt done in a twist maybe it's a crop maybe it's uh, got an interesting silhouette so i will try this on for you i got this in a size 38 i saw this on the model they also do it in black it's got a tie waist and i just think the strong shoulders nipping in at the waist beautiful crisp white once again, she's gonna look great in the Bahamas. She's going to look great with a pair of jeans and a little heel. She is one of those pieces that whatever bottom you put it with, she's gonna be the workhorse. She's gonna get it done. She's just gonna elevate it just that little bit more than it would have been before. So uh, if I haven't made it painfully obvious that I am going to the Bahamas, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I have also started looking at beachwear. This is going to be one of those holidays where there's going to be a lot of lying by the beach, a lot of um, trying to get a tan and all of that. And I have two bikinis, 
two's not gonna be enough, right? I think we're going for like five days or something. Two's not enough, or at least I've told myself. So <laughs> I am on the lookout for a swimsuit and I was clicking around and I came across this Shekmoose one, which looks very boring from the front. Very like, yeah, does the job. I would like to say the thing that intrigued me by this was a high cut a nice high leg. I don't like a cut across. My body, no, it does absolutely nothing for me. And when you're going to be in a vulnerable position, bum out, on the sodden sun lounge, exposed to the world, you want to feel comfortable. And if a high leg is what makes me feel comfortable, a high leg it is. So, saw this and I was like, yeah, ticks the boxes from the front, but nothing particularly exciting. Why, why, why is this capturing me? The back. It's got these little strap things. Some people are worried about like tan marks and all of that. I'm personally not. Like I could have something crazy going on here with a tan. It's covered most of the time anyway. Who's bothered? But at the back, the straps come in and then there's just this little like Jacquemus script metal thing. And it's such a tiny little detail, but brilliant. Absolutely excellent. 10 out of 10 for innovation on that. Whoever does that, I love that. Just a little something. Because what I've been finding through like swimsuits and stuff, same old. These come in a few colours. There's pink, orange, black, brown. So I tried this on on my last day in London. This fabulous denim Fendi skirt in the hopes that I would hate it. In the hopes that it had made me feel as though any other denim skirt up until this point makes me feel which is restricted and sad. It didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can sit. A denim skirt previously has never allowed me to sit. It's cut me in half. I like the fact that it's like a gray black wash. I think it looks edgy. You know, I like these little like baguette pockets on the front. I really like it because I can also see this, but actually I like this less as a spring summer moment, even though she would look great with a white shirt and more of an autumn moment with a good 30 denier tight and a black top. I really like that with a boot. Oh, get it. As we know, the Diesel 1DR bag is trending having a moment. The, we love her, right? But up until this point, I've not really seen one that I have, the colorway has been like, ooh, hello. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a, it's a matte finish and it almost looks like a gold or like an ochre or like a goldy mustard. It's lovely and I like the color, okay? Right, my next couple of things are from Hermes. I know I said, I wasn't going to buy any more Ron sandals this year, and I am not. But I am this close, pretty much when they get it in my size, to getting the easy platform sandal. Easy, as a, could be either. I just, I just like it as a platform clip clopping around the city, not on a long walk. You know, just like, oh, I'm just sort of leisurely having an afternoon. Holidays, whatever, I really, really like this. They're very comfortable. Cork base is the same colour for all of these, but they do come in white leather, tan, gold, whatever you want to call it, Hermes brown and black. I've tried the brown. I like it. I'm not a brown leather girl in general. So that's what sort of like was a bit. I want to try on the black because I think that the black, it will still have the cork platform to give it like a bit of neutrality so it's not as harsh, but I think it will go with more for me. I even like the white, to be honest. I think those were true to size. I think I tried on a 39 because I'm a 39 in Iran's, yes. Emma's ready to wear is never really a section that I dabble in because usually it's not really my style. However, I saw this on the rack calling to me and I thought, oh my gosh. Look at the colours. It's called the Mosaic and it's basically got like a neon green trim, which you know is for me. I just worry that this pattern, I don't have much that's going to match it. And if you're buying things that should already work with your wardrobe, you shouldn't have to go and have to buy things to make it work for your wardrobe, you know? That's my issue with this. Let me know what you think. Do you, th do you think I have things for this? Cause I don't, I don't know. Again, stumbled across this one. It is the Attico ribbed midi dress. It is gray. You've got a sort of tank top body situation at the top and then at the bottom it's almost been made to look like it's a bit of a sarong or you know like a drape you know a bit of drapery down the side with like a tiny bit of skin exposure on the side but you might be able to manipulate that I'm not sure haven't tried it on but again I like this as like a carefree summer moment I can see this in somewhere like the Bahamas slash on holiday I can see this 
in the streets of a city and it's going to work for both. I can also see it with sneakers and sandals and I can see her with heels. I think this is just a really interesting, easy dress and I like it. Don't forget to have a look at the Louisa Viroma promotion below. Thank you to them once again for sponsoring this video. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.